Hi guys, this is Dr. Farjan. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Like always, it's such an honor to connect with you. Today, I want to talk about how to realign on those tiring days. How to realign on those tiring days. Number one, wake up turned on all the time. Wake up with that mindset. Embrace everything fully. Remember, remind yourself that you have abundant energy within. You can, churn, turn, you can choose to turn it on when you want. So remind yourself of that, that we have this abundant energy within us. Think about it. We can be extremely tired. However, when someone's in danger, we can take action, right? Or if we're, we can be extremely tired, but then we see an old friend that we haven't seen in ages and we just start chatting away and we get all this uh, abundant energy within us. Like, hey, how are you? How have you been? Da, 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 right? And you go to a coffee shop and you drink coffee and you have like the best time of your life. But like two seconds before that, you were so tired. But we have that abundant energy stored within us, right? And you can tap into it when needed. Next, remind yourself of your three purposes. I'm here to serve daily. I'm here to share my creative juices daily. And I'm here to let go of my little me and others' little me. That's our ego daily. So remind yourself of that. Next, just be during the chaos. Remember, relaxation equals efficiency. So you don't have to join the crowd. You don't have to join the chaos train. The let's do this train. Like, oh no, the overwhelming train. Just be. Just be. Go at your own pace. Remind yourself that you have God's protection all around you. Next, take it slow. Keep it simple. Just say, I'm here to do my job. That's it. I'm here to do my job one step at a time. Right? I'm human and I'm going to do what I can. Remind yourself of that. And last, ask yourself, what am I looking forward to today? Right? And create those things that you do look forward to. It could be a, sh a funny show during lunchtime. It can be that delicious meal. It can be that uh, time you're going to spend with your child when you get home. But create those little looking forward to moments throughout your day, right? I'm looking forward to read that book, reading that book, finishing that episode, working out, riding my bike, rollerblading. Create those moments at lunch as well, right? Go to the park and eat your lunch there. Meditate. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. You guys are amazing. You rock.